I consider myself a preventative cardiologist. My goal is to prevent the acute events of heart attack and stroke. I actually witnessed my father having a heart attack uh, when he came to visit me in, in Georgia when I was in graduate school. And we took him to the small community hospital trying to avoid the large urban hospital. And they gave him Maalox considering the fact that he was on vacation and um, allowed him to continue his vacation. We went further south to visit my sister and her future husband and he ended up dying in Alabama as a result of that. Um, I said at that time this is probably the specialty I would want to end up becoming a cardiologist because I would like to prevent disease. The major lifestyle changes I try to encourage my patients to undertake is first to change their eating patterns and the way that they cook and we um, actually offer a cooking and nutrition class for the patients and, and their family members um, and any other friends that they may want to bring along to help them change that lifestyle. We also tremendously encourage them to um, begin to, to exercise, just simple walking, which prevents a 50% reduction in heart attack, stroke, and cancer if you can walk 30 minutes a day for seven days a week. And then controlling blood pressure and, uh, and sugar, first with medications until they're able to change their lifestyle changes, and to undergo their lifestyle change, and more importantly, weight loss, and, and obviously um, smoking cessation. I strongly stress to my patients that that our goal is to prevent disease, not to wait for disease to come and get us. Well, I live um, within walking distance of Rock Creek Park, so I spend a tremendous amount of time exercising within Rock Creek Park. And I have a family that I spend a tremendous amount of time with as well.